Let's see. There's a game. What does this look like? Okay. Do I have options to resize anything for purposes of this live stream? I suppose not. Um, okay. Is this filter? Eh, this is going to need a new filter. Crop. Uh, all right. Uh, okay, so screen is wider than it is high. Um, how do we scale this accordingly? I'm going to check one little bit of trivia. Just go to Wikipedia. 16 by 9. Wait. What is my stream resolution? Oh, well, okay, yeah, this is awkward anyway. Um, if I disable the filter... Whoops. And this window appears centered. I see. Oh. Welcome, I guess. Maybe. Uh, one second. <laughs> wow, I have to add that to the whitelist. Oh, man. I, but yeah. LeeShogi.org is the site. Um... Oh, by the way, I added a command for that. But probably should whitelist it, too. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if they have that, too. Good point. Uh, to your question, am I sure? Well, what I can say is, like, he also... Well, he was live streaming yesterday... And he's officially involved in this site, Woogles.io. And um, what else did I see? I think I looked at his GitHub profile. Uh, and it has his name on it. And I think I saw something about Woogles also oh. on his GitHub. So... I don't think it's a very large leap to assume some of this, but um, yeah, I'm not completely certain. I would just be stunned, though, like, but I mean, it's possible I'm mistaken. Uh, yeah, this is unfortunate. Can I zoom? Oh, this is interesting what happens when I zoom. That's not ideal. It works a little bit better, but not ideal. I can scroll this down a bit, but then you still can't see the rack. So I can zoom out one, but you're still missing some of the information. I still kind of prefer this to the original. I don't know. Like, there isn't a Zen mode here. I can't just type Z to get something more beautiful. But I do like this with the board zoomed in a little bit, even if you can't really see the player rating. Um, hmm. <laughs> I might mess around with this a bit. Oh, uh, yeah, you can find for Woogles 
uh, there's an about page somewhere on the main page. You can find a link to it. And it lists all the people involved in promoting and developing this site. Um, it's interesting. Here, where if I zoom in... Wait. Oh, interesting. Even on the game page, I can't see the page logo. Wow. They're that committed to quality that they didn't... Like... They prioritized everything about the user experience, even above the notion of putting their own branding on this page. That shows where what their priorities are. They really care about the user experience more than they care about their own branding, which is fantastic, I think. Um, yeah, no, I'm impressed. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't mean to roast or anything like that. Um, um, okay, so I'm seeing mentions for Zoom out. Um, now's my chance to promote myself. Well, also, yeah, thank you for uh, bringing along all your audience. Um, uh, yeah, I admit I am a casual, casual Scrabble player. I'm much, much more involved in chess and shogi. Um, so if you stick around, you'll probably see me coding. You'll probably see me doing shogi and chess. Um, have I gotten a bingo? Yeah, I've gotten it before. Um, I know that like when I'm playing a game, I want to balance the consonants and vowels I keep on my rack. And my family accused me of being, like, too good at the game or something, because I just pay attention to that one thing. I don't really know all my twos and threes. I'm kind of bad at that. I haven't studied the sevens. Like, I'm more here just as a spectator than anything else. But, hey, we can watch together. If you really want, we could see me play a game, and it's not going to go well. Uh, I've played at a local club before. Um... They had a 25, whatever the time control was. I don't remember if there's increment or not. No, there can't have been, because I remember I had to, like, scramble to place down all my tiles before my time expired to have any chance whatsoever. Ended up playing a phony. It didn't work, but it had to be tried. Um, so, no, I am actually not Tarovsky. I apologize if that was... Um, the name similarity caused some confusion, perhaps. I apologize for that. Um, so sorry to have confused that situation. But yeah, I'm very excited about this Woogle site. I saw Will promoting it with a tournament over the weekend. Um, the His Dell's coverage was most uh, exciting, honestly. Um, so yeah, I'm glad to see this site exists. I, I looked back through the history of the site, saw there, this was initially promoted by Kickstarter. Um, one of the things you'll find is that I'm involved in lots and lots of open source projects. So, um, I know as part of the initial Kickstarter, there were aspirations that maybe someday parts or all of some of this might be open source. I don't really know. I know inevitably, as I tend to do, I will make open source sites for any game, so it's only a matter of time, so well but yeah, um I'm not here to like openly compete against the site right now or anything like that, but inevitably, if this doesn't open source, I'll make my own thing. It'll be great. Um, but this is a great site, uh so Let's see, are Scrabble players also really good at Shiritori? <laughs> yeah. Oh, who am I? Um, yeah, I'm a software developer who also plays a lot of chess and a lot of shogi. Um, so yeah, that's who I am. On this site, I also go by the name Tadovsky, so... Um, I have not played a game on this site yet. I think I've played a few games on ISC years ago. Oh, your app is open source. Oh, excellent. I know I went looking for it, but okay, yeah, very good. 
Ah, uh, that's fantastic. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I know I looked. I must be blind to have missed it. Open sauce. <laughs> yeah. I heard that an American Scrabble oh. champion went to France. Oh, yeah, I've heard. I've heard that. Um... And I remember reading the book Word Freak and hearing about how players come from around the world to play in these U.S. tournaments. Some of whom know more Scrabble words than they don't have necessarily the clearest understanding of English. Um, yeah, no, yeah. Like I said, I, I must have been blind to have completely missed it. I, I apologize for that. Ooh. Awesome. Thank you very much. That's why I couldn't find it. Okay. I will... Oh my goodness. I bookmarked this too. I'm an idiot. All right. Well, good. Excellent. Thank you very much. I'll make sure to let my folks at Lee Chess and elsewhere know too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, I'm also a Lee Chess developer. A volunteer developer there. Um, more a person who complains than anything else, but does so in a really friendly manner. Unless you're talking about folks in our Lee Chess forum, oh. in which case I'll just be blunt and to the point and just try to accelerate conversations that otherwise aren't going anywhere. So, yeah. Um... So, would you prefer that we watch some games, or do we want to see me play some terrible, terrible Scrabble? It's not going to go well, but we could see. Or, I'm sorry, we'll play Woogles. I have to get in the habit of saying that. <laughs> uh, I know, but, like, we brought this whole audience over. <laughs> we got a match request in the lobby. All right, so I'm going to try clicking this. Or I have to go back to the lobby, apparently, to see the match request. Uh, yeah, let's give it a shot. Um, uh, where do I go to... Back to lobby. Alright, so how do I do the match request thing? Um... Sorry. Oh! Okay, here it is. Regular 10-10. Okay, does anybody object if... Well, I guess he's openly challenging me. I don't know, like, what the rules are about me having an audience and people commenting and stuff, but we'll give it a try. I'll try not to cheat too much. Alright, so we immediately get to see what my experience... Oh, ten minutes. I better get rolling. Um, let's see... Hmm... <laughs> How about zounds? Is that a word? Oh, I don't have an S. Well, that would have been one heck of a play to open on the site, wouldn't it? Um, I don't have an S. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, what can I do? I'll try not to cheat. I'm not going to look at what you guys are telling me right now until after I move. Oh, okay, well, here's a play. Not the greatest play. It doesn't give me a very good leave, but we'll stick with it. Uh... Oh! Okay, oh, goodness, I better get rolling. Uh, do, do, do. I don't have enough for kazoo. Uh, do, do. Ah, I'm such a slow player. All right, whatever. Regular ten ten. I think that means 10 second increment or something. 
Like I said, um, I'm super... Oh, right. All right. Uh, let's see. Hmm, sure would help to know my twos and threes and stuff. Sure would help. Um, I don't have a G for Danes. Um, <laughs> well, this sucks, but we'll play it. Hopefully it'll improve the leave I have behind here. <laughs> Still don't have enough for kazoo. All right. Um, oh, I've got eight minutes, and eh, we're on pace. Could be worse. And I think there's like one minute overtime or something, or just timeout. I don't remember. How many 10 letter words end in Zune? How about Kalamazoo? Uh -huh. Alright, uh, Coley. And odd. So what, do, uh, NWL, the N words list 18. I admit I have no idea what the words are, so this is great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's see. We're down by a lot. I don't want to open the triple file. Uh, this is also bad, but what can you do? Oh, crap. I hope he doesn't have an A. All right, so I can rearrange these uh, as well. All right, wow, there you go. That'll do it. Um, <laughs> I wasn't joking when I said it was bad. All right, well, since we're already losing, Let's see if we can make things interesting. That was not the leave I needed. Now, wasn't this, like, inward freak that tricers is an invalid word? Um, so, yeah. Alright, I don't have H-I. That would be nice. Ah, uh, well, I have an S. Let's see if I can get lucky. That's not what we're thinking about for getting lucky. All right. Yeah, we're down by a solid 99 points. Uh, I was more afraid of just losing on time than anything else, given that I almost lost on time in a 25-minute game. I think I can stop worrying about that now. Yeah, this is woogles.io. Um, so that's what this site is. Oh my goodness. All right, well. Hmm. W E T T E R. Now where do we stick it? Wetterer. <laughs> uh, there's nowhere to stick. Oh, we could stick it here, but um. Hmm. <laughs> 
see what else can I try. I mean, it's not terrible there. There's certainly worse than leaving the open... Oh, I still leave the open R. Um, this is maybe better. The few points I get from playing those additional letters doesn't offset all the nonsense. Oh, wow, what? Double challenge. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, oh, QI. That's where it went. Goodness, that's brilliant. Um, how about D future? Does that work? Uh... No, that doesn't work. D future or whatever. Refute. Uh, refuter. Uh, do, do, do. I don't. There's got to be a bingo there somewhere. I'm just too dumb to find it. Um, R E F U T. Oh, it's right there. Refuted. Um, and there's nowhere to put it. All right. Oh, well, that's my luck. Um, well, this F-E a word. Oh, my goodness. R-E-F. I think only E-F is a word. F-E is not a word, I think. Yeah. Um, so, we've got three minutes left. Ah, future something. Play it? Oh, F-E, Iron. Well, since we've got the audience, what can, how can I refuse? This has to be tried, right? It's not going to stick. But we have to try it. Oh, I actually get to see the letters, even in the event that a challenge is very likely. Interesting. In Over the Board Scrabble, you could tell your opponent to hold um, and not draw letters just yet. But here, I get to see what's in the bag. I don't think that's going to stick. FE is good. Okay, well. I did it for the lulls, but apparently it's playable and we're only down by 115. Nice. Uh, three minutes to go. Toady. Nice. Um, I think germ is the word, right? Yes. Like, uh, you'd normally put an E there, but I think this is doable, too. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. I tried. All right, so where I play from, uh, we play by more friendly rules, and you allow the person to try again. We, in fact, take out the dictionary and openly cheat while we're playing like in the with our family we don't do that on this site um but yeah that's like what family scrabbles like so uh, so yeah i'm gonna lose on time but also i don't know what to do i've got to take this spot uh Unless I have, like, some fantastic word elsewhere. Merc is not bad. And that's a nice leave. But, um... Oh, if you play Void when you make a game, it'll allow you to try again. Oh, that is nice. I'll have to try Void... Or... I don't know if I could set a preference indicator or something like that, but yeah, if I make the challenge, I can request the void rule, or I can pay more attention when I'm accepting a challenge to only accept if it says void. 
I don't know if there's like a counter challenge thing, but yeah. Yeah. Oh. I wouldn't say I understand the value of the G, but I get that this is like a decent leave. Um, so I'm like almost the bottom rank of beginner, but I can find a good play now and then. All right, so I don't want to open anything. This like all sucks, but um, do we have anything here? Uh, get? That's not bad. Got? Got looks okay. Um, yeah, whatever. Anything so I don't time out. Yeah, I've played this game a time or two before. I've more watched it than played it, honestly. Um, so here we could spell ring, or ringed, I think. I'm not sure if ringed is any good, but maybe we have something elsewhere, too. What about this column? Uh, winged? Uh, it doesn't fit here. Winge? Uh, don't need an H for winch. I don't remember. Uh, five in the bag. Lots of good stuff in the bag. Not a lot of high scoring things, but uh, potentially useful stuff. Uh, yeah, let's give it a shot. All right, we need a word here. We don't have one, because we have two vowels and five consonants. Alright, we need a word here. <laughs> There's not going to be one. Um, Alright, we need P-O. Okay. Phi. Um, mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's no good. All right, what do we do? Opponent has two tiles. Well, that's bad news for me. Also bad news is that I'm panicking. Um, <laughs> Whatever. Da might not be good. Da might be a phony. We'll see in a second. Alright. Um, I must pass their challenge. Where's the pass? Oh, I, what's their play? Oh. Oh, they played it. Alright, where's the pass button? Pass. Yes. There's a rage quit button right next to the pass button. All right. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, so there's our initial rating of 1413. Um, and it's only going to go down from there. It has to go down before it gets better. But yeah, nice game. Bed pants. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, that bed pants would be nice. All right, is there some way you want me to go, like, look through? There's examine. I guess we could replay the game. I think I saw something like this being done during or after the broad. Oh. Uh. Oh, nice. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh. Like, I don't know if you can see whether he, um, anything about the exam and stuff going on here. Uh, for the sake of this broadcast, I'd like to have this in zoomed in mode, but I can't hit the next button while we're zoomed in. Um, 
Yeah, this this is not going to broadcast well. Unless I set up a special layout for it, but... So I missed a lot of stuff. I played okay. Yeah. A oh, one to rage quit, two to pass, three to challenge, four to exchange. Ah, 2019 National Scrabble Champion. Yeah, I, I had a sense that... Uh, when did I get the sense that I was... I think... Here's about when I knew something was up. Um, so, yeah. That's a good move. It really is. Uh, it was at this point I knew I was outmatched. But it's okay. <laughs> um, Alright, click View Analyzer in this perspective. Like, I see a light bulb button... Um, we'll leave it in this perspective for a second, so we're not tricking everyone. And tablet width. Oh, really? So you're saying if I zoom in twice, getting into the tablet width mode? Um, yeah, I'm not super familiar with this. Light bulb bullshit. Oh, okay, so this is, what did I miss? Oh, right. Yeah, Will was showing this off, too. Nice. So I missed Sud, Vid, Dud. Well, at least I didn't miss anything crazy. I don't know a lot of words that don't use A and E. So, yeah. I've got kind of a massive gap in my vocabulary. Uh, so... NWL is which like the national word list or something. Uh, let's see, you can click on these and it shows them off on the board. That would have been cool. This would have been. I should have seen this one. Yeah, that's kind of hard to see. The leave here is pretty nice. I really like that. <laughs> Play number four, exchange. Nice. Oh, okay. Well, that just says something about the strength of my first play, doesn't it? All right. What did I miss on play one? Uzo. That I should have seen. Oh, uh, I missed Uzo. <laughs> uh, the other day I was asking if Zune was a word, but I was spelling it the Microsoft way. Okay, well, what else did I miss? So I guess the, the reason that he played Fusai below my zoo was that he needed to block the end hook of Zune. Um, maybe he didn't have an N. I didn't even know Zune was a word, but okay, yeah. Yeah. All right, um... So, do we want me to play another game? Or do we want me to spectate a game or something? What would be most entertaining for you all? Uh, we have another call for Shogi. We do realize that this is predominantly a Woogles audience, right? I mean, I get the interest in Shogi. Given that I've done lots and lots and lots of shogi recently. Um, so I forget what... It would help if some point I actually figured out what all these double challenge rated... I think double challenge means 10 point penalty or something. I'm trying to remember. I read about all this on ISC years ago. About what single, double, all that is. Um, but further, I should pick the void rule. That's the only one I really care about. Is that you get to keep trying after a phony play. Uh, yeah, void I need to do. Because I am... Oh, it doesn't even let me put in the phony. Nice. Even better. Yeah, I think that will... Save me some headache. Um, um, all right, so...
create a game. Void. Nice. So, which one of these is like the American words? Because I don't know all the British words. <laughs> Like, there's a lot of words in the other book. NWL is what I'm looking for. All right. Uh, increment's fine. Increment, let's set that to something generous. Uh, oh, we could set the initial minutes as well. Yeah, I think this is probably fine. Who knows all the New Zealand words? Yeah, that sounds fun, right? I joked that, you know, the one mode I would maybe have a chance at winning at would be if we were to play exclusively with words that are in, like, data formats and programming languages. So, stuff that's like in SQL and uh, in C++ and Java and, like, all the languages that are out there. I think that could be an, a very amusing way to play the game, but almost certainly confusing to anybody who doesn't deal with computers all day. Yeah, the computer dictionary just sounds absolutely ridiculous. I don't even know how you decide what goes into it, but I'm just amused at the possibility of learning words uh, as a product of playing the game. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. All right. Uh, good luck. All right. So, oh, I get to go first. Uh, okay. So this is, I like having the large board. Ah, <sighs> well, Lots of good letters, and then we have a W. Um, I can't even spell walrus. Uh, do, do, do. uh well, mm, I have an S. They don't have an S, very likely. So let's try this and see where we end up. Oh. They might have, like, some other letters, like B or P or C. That was dumb. Wow. All right. Turn one of the game. Oh. I've already... Well, all right. This is exciting, too. Um... <laughs> the way I said do-do-do reminded you. It's... Ah. Or way somebody said something. Uh, okay, I'm trying not to cheat. So, yeah. I don't think with four vowels I have a bingo. Um. <laughs> oh, why am I not doing vertical plays? Oh, man. Um. Yeah, I should do vertical plays on move one just for the memes. Uh... Oh, there. Oh, I'm sorry. Wow. There was a bingo. Well, now we're screwed. But maybe we'll learn some Hawaiian words as a product of this. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. All right, so we're playing against TWQ. <sighs> I'm, a bit, I'm a bit intimidated by that first play. And the fact that my opponent would be playing, like they've created an account on a word game site, means that they're already dedicated enough to create an account, so they're already kind of serious, if not a lot more than that. Uh, yeah, 
uh, seriously considering Exchange 5. Like, I mean, what do you do? I should not have played this, but it looked too interesting. Wait, did I have, like, guys? Or... No, okay, here's the letters I had in my rack. I did not have an E. So I considered suing. That would have been interesting, but didn't like how that lined up with the rest of the board here. So I played this instead. Just, I kind of liked the shape that this formed but didn't really think about what leave I would have. Or the fact that I would draw, like, four vowels. Yeah, I mean, drawing four vowels could hurt. Yeah, I created an account, but I'm like, I don't know. Fluent in technology. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Reasoned. All right. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Um All right. We could come back from this. Just have to score a zillion points. Um well, we're getting close to Linux. We got the I, the U, the X and a blank. Um, and there's an N right there. But, no, that's not the best place to put the X. Oh. Okay, yeah, we're screwed. There's no coming back from this. Alright, so where do we put the X? Um, or is there some high-scoring place for the Z, perhaps? I don't think there is. Really doesn't look like there's any great place for the Z. All right, what's an eight-letter word ending in glow? <laughs> uh, I don't have the letters for anything like that anyway, but that would be cool. Uh, here's a good place for an X that blocks the glow thing. Um, uh, this is valid, right? Maybe. Yeah, it's valid. Woo! We've got ADZ. Alright, we'll take it. We're only down by 60 points. Uh, let's see. Oh my gosh. Well, I have to admit, I missed sync. Did not anticipate that play. Not sure how I missed it. Probably calm down a bit now that I'm looking at the clock. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. Yeah, I know. I should have anticipated that he would have that, right? Well, I've got a lot of A's. Oh. Well, the Q's already played. Um. Yeah, well. Oh. Really? Okay. Fair enough. Um. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, fine. That works, right? If he can play Sync, I can play Raz. Wish I had an E so that I could like triple it. Um, yeah. Mooning. All right. Well, hmm. not sure what to do about all this. Can't exactly fit Honey in front of this. Um, so I still have three A's after that. That's better. Um. This is even better. Uh, I don't want to put something next to the triple. Fine. Well, we got lots of vowels. Yeah, generally I want to save the blank, uh, especially for an occasion like that, but... I got impatient. <laughs> uh, this is the fault, my fault for playing for such an esteemed audience. Um, so yeah, I try to do something flashy, but uh, yeah, it's all gonna backfire. I mean, not that I'm gonna beat Sync anyway. But also, I guess I'm fishing for more letters because I'm down 90 points. That's really not a good justification to panic, but feels like it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying. I should do a better job balancing my consonants and vowels when I have an actual tile rack in front of me. I keep better track of it. Well, I can actually shuffle these, can't I? What are these buttons? Reset rack, shuffle. Oh, so you could shuffle this however many times you want and then hit this to reset it? Nice. Okay. That's cool. All right, well, we are donezo. Um, there's a study that says, like, the people who shuffle their tiles tend to score higher than people who don't move them around. Um, so it's probably not a bad idea to shuffle it a little bit. Uh, that way we could see words like iguanas. Um... Hmm, five minutes, four minutes left. Um, Wait, there's no air. Oh, there's four R's uh, still here, so putting AI there would be dumb. Um, man. Yeah, I don't know where to even put something. 
This is so bad. It's not the worst play ever, but it's not up there. Um, okay, gent. All right. Um, <laughs> Oh, your is a word? Where would I even put your? Uh, how about this? Is there something I can do here? Not that I see. I mean, I could put Ray here. Uh, three minutes remain. Now, I'm not sure if this flashed yellow here because of the time warning or because my opponent, like, increased my timer or something out of generosity or something. I think this is just an alert that I'm in time pressure. Um, okay, that's a time warning. Uh, oh, is this phony or not? Apparently, AR is a word. We'll take it. Oh, we got the K. Check that out. I just have to learn a whole bunch of other words that can fit there. Which is completely unrealistic and not going to happen, so... Uh, F-E-O. Arf. That's not bad. Um... <laughs> Still down by 80. Oh, that's not hairline, is it? Uh, that's too bad. Uh, okay. Jello. Jello. Hmm. I mean, we're playing the Void Challenge, so we know Jello is in there. I'm still judging. Still judging for that. Um. <laughs> uh, uh, Razzy has finally been blocked. I see. Um... Oh, I can't build across LL. Um, yeah, I don't know any words that fit there. I could stick the H here. Oh, never mind. That's a word that's in the book, but apparently not a word. All right, whatever. Um, this is a terrible idea. Opening the triple right next to a double. But we're in a bad spot, and that's my excuse. So we're gonna uh, fish a bit and try not to lose on time. Uh -huh. Lop. All right. Um, <laughs> There's two S's in the bag. Oh dear. I did not do well balancing my rack. Um. Still don't have an S. Have a lot of fun letters. I don't know how to bingo through the B. Probably not going to get one ending in L. Uh, nail? Out nail? 
Don't know if out nails a word. Probably not. No harm in trying it. Nowhere to put it anyway. Uh, let's see. Latnuya. Linux. Not there. Oat Linux. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have to remind myself that for a casual player, I am oh. doing good. Okay, where the hell was that? Kindar. Oh my gosh. Where'd that go? To? Oh, there it is. Uh, well, um, yeah, we're screwed. Um, <laughs> thirteen in the bag. Uh, let's, nope, uh, too optimistic. Ah, uh, goodness, I don't know. I am just panicking at this moment because I have no time left. Um... Nope, can't fit poor here. Okay, can't fit poor anywhere. Oh, how about oh. here? Never mind. Uh, pout poor. Um, oh, goodness, he has the S, doesn't he? Um. Well, this is not going to end well. Yeah, my Y doesn't fit there. This is bad. Oh, dearie. Oh, dear. Creepy. Right there. That was so dumb. Uh, it was terrible. Usually I can make an excuse that, like, um, I can't see my opponent's tiles, but clearly right there, I had, I should have known. Uh, all right, whatever. Uh, yeah, this is not going to end well. And, yep, they play their T. And that's the game. Oh. Well, yeah, some of those words would be great. Uh, patio, I do know. Um, yeah, I thought 15 second increment would have been a lot of a lot of time. It's not. All right, where's the pass button? Oh, right, never mind. Duh. No pass button required. All right. Well, yeah. We're one point higher than 1337. Nice. Uh, let's spoil the game. Yeah, I was quite surprised to get an audience. Um, 
so soon playing this game. So, oh yeah, no, there's there's a ridiculous number of options. I'm just freaking out ridiculously. Um, because, like, I don't... I've not played timed Scrabble in at least 10 years. So to suddenly... Well, maybe I've played it online, but it's been a while. So to suddenly be moving to playing and trying not to time out while also not knowing what the timeout rule is, is like if there's... I think there's a one minute extension. You don't instantly lose the game, but also I'm not going to find anything if I'm just given one extra minute. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, uh, actually, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I do the same thing with folks uh, playing on uh, sites that I've had a part in either contributing to or whatever. So that makes sense that you want to see how accessible this site is to people who aren't so familiar with the scene. Yeah. Right. No, I thought I was uh, careful with the title here, but yeah, the, when is Woogles going to be a category on Twitch? Like, how do I get this listed under Woogles? Can I add a category? Is that how it works? Um, but yeah, it'd be nice to be able to go back through the move list without having to zoom out to do that. Okay, so here's where the chat room ends up. I can see a player's chat. I see. Uh, yeah, so we could... Oh, that's right. The, we got the examine button. Okay, yeah, I can actually hit these buttons down. Until I hit that one. And then to hit the remaining buttons, I've got to, like, I can make a user style or something, a user script to push the buttons around. Like, there's space up here. I could stick the buttons up here with some sort of user script, user style thing. Because um, I like having a very large board. I think this presents well for an audience. Um, now hit View Analyzer up into the... Oh! Okay, and then, yeah, if you're asking for suggestions, you could, here's the suggestion thing, but how do I get through the move list? That's where I'm confused about. Um, hit the view, okay, and then we could, like, view the scorecard or hit this, but scroll down a little. All right, and now, are we talking about this scrolling, or the... The whole page. Okay, so I scroll down a little and so I missed the first row of the board, but I can hit this. Um, but yeah, we can see... Actually, this is probably the most... Uh, what are all the things I missed? So I don't know walls. I don't know wall. I do know whales. So that would have been a good thing to play. Um... Entirely up to you guys. Um, most of the time I am not playing Woogles, but um, so I don't want to set off lots of false alerts, but entirely up to you. Like, if you have some way of detecting that I'm playing under a given game category uh, as part of your alerting system, then that might make sense. Otherwise, like, you might get a lot of false alerts. I'm not sure. Or I could have some other way of doing that. Um, oh, okay, good. Uh, let's see. Wall. Go for Caterwall. Isn't that something that's, like, in the Word Freak book? They had some things about, like, interesting opening plays, like, a top. Where would you put a top? Would it go, like, in the center? You have to be careful because somebody might have tricers and you could get triceratops. Um, so, yeah. Caterwall is. That's. That would be an amazing play. I wonder how many times the second play of a game has been. Um, 
uh, bingo, a nine-letter bingo through the triple. That would be an interesting statistic, at least until you realize that it's basically never happened. All right, so we missed iguanas, like, all over the place. And then there's iguana. And then there's guan. And then there's vo. Guan again. Not a lot of words. Oh, I'm sorry. Not a lot of suggestions because almost all of them are iguanas. Um, so if you saw iguanas. Oh. Top play. Exchange, 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 exchange. Adieu would be the best non exchange play. All right. Yeah, this makes sense. All right. So apparently, and when you have seven vowels, unless you can get at least four of them played, exchanging is probably a good idea. That makes sense. All right, maybe I want to try seeking another game, unless we really want me to go through this and find all my blunders. Uh, Razia? I had no idea that's a word. Still have to look up what it means sometime. Um, Zax. That would be a good one for me to know. When was that added? Uh, Axel. That, or and then there's like Axial, right? I don't know. Yeah, there's Axial. Okay. But Axel's also word. Jeez. And this is the NWL. When did it get so many words? Goodness. All right. Axian. Yeah, okay. We're going to go back to the lobby at this point. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, never mind. Control zero. Get the lobby back to where it normally is. Ology to astrobiology. Woo to greasewood. Oh, by the retired Colton Keller. I think a possibility could be in the future. Do, yeah, that's fair. Um, oh, Hovel. Okay, so that is in there. I thought I was losing my mind trying to... I thought I've seen that Hove with an L before. I don't know why, and I thought I was losing my mind, and apparently it is actually valid. All right, we're going to bump this up to 20. Oh, that's interesting. So it goes from rapid to regular when you put a sensible amount of time on here. Nice. Oh, that's right. Okay, so yeah, you have the max overtime, or you could just have the increment. If you have an increment, then there's not also an increment with overtime, because that'd be just weird. I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's try this. Again, if it might make more sense for me to spectate than to play, but if folks want to play, we can play. I don't know. Um... Oh, maybe I should actually... I've got, like, several bots in my channel. Maybe I should actually... Also, wow, it's remiss of me not to notice folks following, so thanks for all of that. Although, yeah, my whole spiel at the beginning of this was that I typically do chess and shogi and coding, but, you know, stuff happens, so... Sometimes we play other stuff. Uh, yeah, 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 so... Got the song list bot in the event that ever I end up performing music on here, which has not happened. Um, yeah, we've got my phantom bot with all kinds of commands built into it. I thought I had others here too. Apparently not. Most of them must be my other place. What openings do I play in Shogi? I play ranging rook openings. So those would be the openings where you move the rook to the left. Uh, let me cancel this. We'll go watch a game. 
Uh, do, let's watch. Oh, here's a nice high level game with enough time on the clock for folks to think. Um, so yeah, the ones where I move the rook at least as far left as my king and probably more left than that. Um, am I coding a competitor? Um, I'm not sure, like, I am a developer for the Stockfish, um, at least the multivariant Stockfish bot, the one that plays on Leechus and does all the exciting, interesting variants. Uh, like, if you get your king to the center of the board, you win the game. I have wrote a bot that'll play all these strange rule sets. Oh. Um, so I got a competitor for that. Uh, oh, um, rarely I do watch TCEC. Yeah. I more follow the news amount announcements that like follow uh, performances of the bots and various tournaments. So when they say that, hey, uh, uh, LC0... Leela oh. Chess Zero, when it has this fantastic performance and everybody gets all excited about it. Um, yeah, I find that interesting, but I, I generally don't watch it live. Um, how's the... okay. Oh! Actually, if you want, I could ask around. Um, I can ask the Lee Chess uh, staff how it is that they compile such a small engine. The WSM is WebAssembly. Um, so, which is better now? It depends on your definition of better. Uh, if you're asking which engine is stronger now, I think uh, oh. Stockfish is still at the top of the TCEC rating list. If it's not, then I'm forgetting something. Um you note that like all of my commentary is going to be like not about this particular board game that we're watching because I'm not an expert in this, so it, it makes more sense for me to like comment on just about everything else here. Yeah, we compiled the Macondo engine, so it could be loaded into the web browser. Yeah, I could um, ask the, the folks who compiled that. Like, if they have any tips about what they could do for maybe even taking a quick peek at this Macondo engine. Um, well, I suspect that uh, the overlap... Yes, of course there's going to be that kind of overlap between, like, this math and science and folks interested in this kind of board gaming, sure. But I think that also is like between online Scrabble players and uh, folks who do software development. I think the online aspect to it means like folks who are seeking this sort of gaming out online already are of a certain perspective with computers. Um, so yeah, I think that's altogether possible, but I think it's more coincidence. Um, it's not really saying that I don't think you could say from that there's a strong link between Scrabble players and folks uh, that do software. But um, I think in terms of online play, you will find a lot of folks that just work with computers are the same folks that seek out the Scrabble sites online, um, I think. Um, ooh, that's... <laughs> All right, where's the bingo? Oh, I'm sorry, there's five vowels. This could be hard. 
I was all excited. Um, yeah, that might be a bit difficult. Oh, there it is. And just as you predicted. Yeah. So I have to remind myself that just because players are like below 2000 on this site does not mean that they aren't like very strong players. Um, so, yeah. Only Hasty has broken 2,000. Well, actually, no, I think it's entirely fair Like that the 50th percentile of players on a site... The players here are competitive, because, like, who, who... What sort of casual player would... I mean, eventually they're going to find the site, sure, but... Um, folks are more readily drawn toward commercial products because they haven't seen this yet. Eventually, casual players will all know about this, and it'll be great. How about Plow? I'm thinking Plow. All right, but yeah, eventually, casual players will find this. They'll realize what an excellent site it is. But right now, they tend to be like, I don't know. I bought a Scrabble CD or two in my day. <laughs> I've live-streamed uh, me playing the Scrabble computer game with all the flashy animation and fun sound effects and stuff. I've live streamed that before. It's been a while. <laughs> uh, yeah. Invite chess for it. Oh, yeah, I did start a team on Lee Chess for Shogi. Maybe I could start a team unleash us for word games yeah as long as i avoid the corporate trademark i could still promote um the stuff and yeah i could use the woogles name um just to get the word out there but like in terms of me putting a team out there like if i'm using this name and saying like well i'm not the guy who even runs the site it's probably going to confuse some folks more so than if I just like create a generic word game team to help promote this. Um, does Lee Chess have Shogi? If I say yes, will you be happy? <laughs> I mean, I saw that uh, it was just yesterday. Um, I saw a video of um, a uh, very strong amateur shogi player um, who was playing on Lee Shogi. And it just caught me very much by surprise. So, yeah, I've since shared uh, screenshots and video of that with uh, other folks, and there's been tremendous interest in Lee Shogi all of a sudden. And uh, I don't mean at all to stress out the developer of that site, as I'm sure they have other priorities, but I'm also excited to get on board with that at some point. Yeah, just bring friends. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, Tibo told you he could put it back on his site. But he might have backtracked a bit. Uh, yeah, this is... Yeah. <laughs> well... Uh... So, like, I've gotten quite a few questions about Lee Shogi, even before I knew the site existed. Like, uh, and in some part, 
it's my fault that I've gotten so many questions because I've also said, hey, this would be a cool idea, but no, I'm not doing it until winter break. Um, and I made up excuses like, well, by the way, this is the year that Scala 3 comes out. And if you've ever tried to learn the language Scala and you don't have a background in category theory, good luck. You will you'll eventually figure it out with some help, but um, Scala 3 is supposed to make the language more accessible, which I hoped uh, would somehow make the Leeches code base itself more accessible as well before I dive in and start implementing all kinds of crazy shogi rules inside the Lee Chess code base. Um, but yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that feeling when you're in the middle of the first Woogles tournament in the back end is panicking. <laughs> yeah, um... <laughs> I think it's fine to note what the GitHub issues are. In fact, I did respond to one of them already saying, hey, you know, if you're thinking of adding Shogi quotes, here's the file where you can go do it, and anybody could go submit this at any time. But no, I think you're just more trying to keep track of what all the issues are. Uh, more so than saying, let's go do everything right now. Uh, category theory is a branch of... Uh, computer science and or mathematics um, dealing with relations. Um, I haven't studied it, but it, uh, I, I'd have to look up a good definition of it. Um, but it, uh, it's useful because with that sort of theory, you can define how objects can relate to one another. I should look this up. Category theory. Theory of cats and how to... No, okay. Formalizes mathematical structure and its concepts in terms of a labeled directed graph called a category whose nodes are called objects and whose labeled directed edges are called arrows or morphisms. Informally, category theory is a general theory of functions. All right, so cat, that's category theory. Functions. That's what puts the fun in programming. Um, is it the same thing as data science? Well, to say whether or not it's the same thing as data science, first we have to... No, okay, um... Um, no, it's not the same thing as data science. There needs to be a shogi variant of Scrabble. I'm not, I mean, that thought has occurred to me several times in the last week, but also I don't know what to make of it. Ooh, I can hit the exit button to take me right back to the lobby. That's cool. It's right in the middle of the screen, so I don't have to go reach all the way off to the edge to hit it, but I could also accidentally hit it, and then, so, yeah, not sure how I feel about it. Here's somebody playing against HastyBot. It's a nice little chime. All right, have a good night. Yeah, thanks for making this site. Honestly, like having played on ISC like forever ago, I recognize that this web experience brings some excitement that's much needed. Um, uh, and the fact that this is a new and thankfully, as you pointed out, an open source project. You being whoever pointed this out forever ago, I think it was the developer who was uh, present here that pointed it out. Um, yeah, thankfully, since it's an open source project, it will have much room for growth in the future, too. 
one thing I need to check into is, uh, is there a continuous integration build pipeline? I assume there is. If not, is there some quick, quick and dirty way I can add it? I heard a chime. I saw a notification at the top of the screen. Oh, the game's ended. Okay. Um, yeah, Hasty Bot wins again. Close game. At least score-wise. Um, cool. Uh, do -do -do -do. Um, well, here's... Oh, wow. Wait, what is this? Huh. I guess for this particular speed of the game, the ratings are so disparate. 1882 and 1453. Although both of these players, uh, K-U-M-Q-U-A-T, I don't want to mispronounce that, um, versus Steve Pelinan. Um, Both of these folks were competing in the tournament over the weekend. So they're both strong players. Don't let the ratings confuse you. Um... <laughs> oh, Circle CI. Okay, good. Good night. Yeah. Ah, okay. Wow. So they're enjoying the new site together. <laughs> yes. Well, hope they don't mind us spying on the game. Oh, seeing the word za on there reminds me. If I do have leftovers, they need to go into the fridge. Oh, wow. Moodiest. That's a nice one. Oh, so yeah, in playing Scrabble with family, one thing I've taken to doing is trying to open the board even at the expense of um, risking losing the game. So it has two advantages. One, it's more fun to play with an open board than a closed board. Although often we do end up getting um, we do end up getting boards where there's a word and then one tile up and then another parallel word. So we often have like words with just a single blank row in between, which makes building very hard. And I try to avoid those shapes and other family members just seem to keep diving right into it because, well, when we play words, most of the words we play tend to be uh, consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel, consonant, etc. Like, most of the time, uh, the words we're picking are not great Scrabble words because, um, I don't know, it's just easiest to come up with and remember the ones that alternate vowels and consonants. So that tends to end up with positions that are very difficult to build. See, so yeah, open boards are more fun to play with, but also it's, um, I don't know, um, I forgot my second point, whether just risking losing the game makes it more exciting or not. There was some other point I was going to make. Oh, it speeds up the game. 
because also casual Scrabble games tend to run for a very long time. Um, all right, well, thank you, and have a good night. Um, oh, do I? Did I make a Woogles uh, command yet? If not, I need to do that. All right, let me do that. Uh, add com. Woogles. There we go. Better than nothing. So yeah, that can be used in the future, although I need to like come up with some descriptive something to say there. Oh, glom, that's nice. I mean, people love high-scoring plays, but sometimes you just need to pick the thing that gives you uh, a good leave after you play it. Um, Especially if you have six consonants and one vowel in hand. Getting rid of some of the harder to score letters can be useful. Um, that said, uh, like getting rid of the J or the K might have been... I mean, if you could have, that would have been a nice thing. Uh, I don't think Word Freak mentioned that one. But it's been a while since I read the book. All right. Well, I hope that somebody else is getting ready to live stream Woogles. Because we've been going about an hour plus some. Uh, so I might be wrapping up shop here pretty soon. Oh no, it didn't occur to me how tricky it could be to spell the word Woogles, even if it is in the live stream title. Hmm. Hmm. I think people know what Google is, to be honest. They probably don't need me to make a Googles command. Um... Yeah, Word Freak did have another, a number of fun um, wordplay things in it. Whether it was just talking about how some players could just like instantly, if you tell them what the letters are, they'd immediately tell you what the bingo is. Um, it's like an anagram. The most interesting things, they'd anagram names, they'd anagram words that were part of events, I guess. I don't remember. They'd anagram anything and everything. Well, yeah, and if you're at, like, the top of a game, like, consider this, that, um, I think it was George Koltanowski, um, a chess grandmaster, who would perform these tremendous feats of memory where people would tell him to put just associate random words with every square on the board and then he would ask the audience for any square on which to start a night and he would look away from the board and tell you the, these are all the squares the night would go to in this order and by the way these are the words that were written on every square like, he could tell you that sort of thing. So, there's that. There's, like, you have the world champion who's playing numerous... Uh, actually, you don't even have the world champion. You've got another player, um, Gareev, 
Timur Gureyev, uh, another excellent grandmaster, um, one of the older grandmasters out there. Uh, he's just riding an exercise bike all day with a blindfold on, playing like 40 plus games of blindfold chess at once against a room full of players. So like, considering that those are things that people in the chess world do, it doesn't surprise me that in terms of anagrams, um, like some humans uh, can do quite fantastic uh, things. I don't know of anyone who can do that, but it does not surprise me that it's possible even as startling as it would be to witness such a thing. Well, I'm not sure whether my closed caption um, held up for that uh, run-on sentence, but I do see that my viewer count is on the decline, so... Uh, let's see, how many minutes do players have remaining here? Uh, we got 9 minutes 55 and 8 minutes 33 as they're planning out how to use uh, the last 7 tiles a piece and 20 tiles in the bag. So this is the end game. There's not going to be very many plays remaining. Oh. Yeah. Well, some people have come up with, like, Toad of Sky, right? That's an anagram, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's kind of hard due to the K and the Y and the F and the double O. So, yeah, kind of challenging. What you need to do there is come up with some other words you can pair that with. Yeah, and if you can manage to combine that with other words... Perhaps you can somehow come up with a sentence or a short phrase that anagrams to something cool. Yeah. Well, officially I can't say that, but you know, it could be a, a Mario RPG reference. I mean, Mario RPG is a fantastic game. I see that um, recently uh, live streamer uh, Lukagen has taken to playing it on her YouTube channel. So that's quite excellent, honestly. Players who've not had any chance to see just this marvel of what Square and Nintendo could put together, which is, I think, still one of the best games Nintendo's ever produced or published, or whatever the word is. Um, yeah. It's a great game. And honestly, I think if they had just made a 3D version of that same exact game, and maybe balance some of the stats, and there's already a balance mod out there for the original game. I think if they were to do that, it would still be an excellent game. I would want it. Um, got it for Christmas instead of N64. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, it's so amazing. It really is. Yeah, in terms of keeping up with video game consoles, I've never caught up with the latest Nintendo generation. Um, I've always been like one or two generations behind. Um, but yeah, I think the one exception I had to that is um, some years after the N64 was available, we finally got one. Uh, but yeah, that was a beautiful thing to have at the time. But yeah, Mario RPG is just extraordinary. Uh, I'm still amused by some of the plot and some of the dialogue. It's like, Whoever wrote that knew what they were doing and knew how to just barely 
be suggestive enough that they can say things that make you think, but don't uh, tick off the Nintendo sensors. So, um, like the whole affair in Seaside Town with the tickle feather. It's just so good. It's like, who even comes up with this? Uh, Nintendo has never been the same. Ulu. Oh, wow. All right. How about Sadlier with two Ds? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not a word. Uh, also, there's nowhere to put it. Ulu is an iOS app. Huh, I see. Yeah, so uh, I guess I kind of, I don't know how seriously I made this suggestion the other day. And maybe it's something I should just put in the issue tracker, but could be fun to have a more casual variant where the consonant and vowel bags are separated. And you could play it countdown style where you can draw one letter at a time from whichever bag you prefer. I think people would still not be fully satisfied, but beginners might suck less. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. Uh. Uh, see, when these players play da, it's a good word. Oh, but right, of course, they're fishing for the bingo. Um, so where is the S going to go? Where are all the places that they're considering? Opponent has seven tiles. Wait. So there's nothing in the bag. Um, what's the bingo? Maybe they were hoping for a different letter. Uh, radials does not play. Right. That was the thing, is that even if you do have a bingo, there's got to be somewhere to put it. Otherwise, it just looks nice. Um, so, like the word yep here, Y-E-P, I don't think takes an S. Nattier is an adjective, so that I don't think that takes an S. And, yeah, I just didn't see anywhere to put it. Um, so even if there were... Uh, even if there were that and other bingos, I just don't see how they would fit. You're kind of... I don't see how the opponent could ac accidentally open a line for it either. Um... <laughs> Super hot take. Oh yeah, well, I seem to remember that. Um, yes, uh, yeah. Over the weekend, um, a word played that shouldn't have played. So you never know which words can actually be played until they make it down. And yeah. So I'm sure I'd find a way to try to make it fit. 
and I would lose a lot of face in the game, but it would still be a heroic moment trying to make it fit. Yes, I don't know what you do at this point. Um, thankfully, uh, you're up 81 points. Um, and the opponent doesn't have enough tiles to bingo, so it's you just want to score a nice number of points without opening up something catastrophic. You want to try to maximize your lead, but yeah, have it to. And to do that, you keep track of what letters you're going to be stuck with after your play. Um, and consider all the places your opponent could try to block on their next turn. I know going out um, sticks your opponent with whatever they haven't played yet. Um, wait. Wait. Isn't fests a word? It's not enough to win, but does almost, I mean, it does help close the gap. It does stave off some of the embarrassment. I don't know. Uh, yeah, there it is. So, yeah, I mean, you still lose, but not by as much. Okay, yeah. Oops. Well, I mean, that happens. Um, but yeah, good game. Well played. All right. Well, I think with that, um, we've had some fun watching Google's games. I might tinker a bit with uh, user scripting some things. Like I would be like, uh, I would like to be able to. Actually, I could probably click these. No, I can't click these to navigate this list. Eh, some of those things will change over time, but um, still, this is a very functional site. It, uh, it's impressive. Um, it's a cheerful site. Like, a, the noises are great and comfortable. Um, the tools that are there to even help beginners try to understand what happened are great. Uh, I'm sure collaborative analysis will be there someday. Uh, and yeah, it's all open source, too. So if there's something you think you can improve about it, um, and you've got the capacity to develop something and uh, maybe the developer might accept or make a different, similar version of your change, but I don't know. Um, feel free to try um, your hand at coding the site or making your own copy of it and coding it. Uh, abide by their license, which is AGPL3, I think. Meaning that folks, uh, the players who use the site have the right to act, uh, request a copy of the source code. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure what collaborative analysis would entail. Um, Lee Chess does a decent job of it, so I think that'd be a good starting point, but I don't know what it would entail other than... Um, some ability to work through an analysis together with uh, other spectators. <laughs> yes, surprise! Yeah, also, uh, yeah, I was hoping to do a coding stream of that today. It's not going to happen today. Um, got some details there to iron out with the developer, and uh, of course, um, uh, I don't know. Usually I just YOLO it and say, you know, we're going to um, just have a live coding stream 
and we watch paint dry while that goes on. And But this time I did my best to set things up in advance for the coding stream, and it didn't quite pan out, which gave us time to do Woogles instead. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll find out. There's a lot to be figured out for Lee Shogi. Um, I was not actually part of the Lee Shogi project. Although it's funny you say that, there have been several Lee Shogi projects. There have been three, well, I'm sorry, there were two developers who announced an intent to do such a thing. I also announced an intent to eventually get around to doing it. And then another developer just went ahead and did it. So, um, and that's beyond all the folks speculating over whether or not it could be an interesting thing to do. So, I'm not sure that you could say that there's one Lee Shogi project, as, but clearly one developer went uh, leagues above and beyond all the rest and actually did it. But there's also, like, a lot of them, so... Um, yeah. Yeah, it's great. I'm surprised that it's... that folks, uh... Well, I shouldn't say too much, but yeah, I, I am surprised. So, it's good. And since it exists, it's something everybody can contribute to. But yeah, also, Woogles, um, open source, um, the project can be found on GitHub at, uh, who was it? Uh, Domino14 is the maintainer for uh, the Google site. So, uh, yeah, you can find that on GitHub. Um, see all these announcements here. They had the Wisconsin Dells tournament over the weekend. If you missed that, I'm sure you'll find the videos in several places. Um, yeah, congratulations to both winners, uh, over the NWL and CSW, uh, competitions. This is traditionally been an in-person held event, but this year being what it is, that got held online instead and uh, went very smoothly. Um, yeah, unfortunately I wasn't able to make it, but also <laughs> didn't find the time to spectate most of it either. Uh, I'll have to catch up on some of that at some point. If the first day of it sounds quite interesting. The the qualifier for the phase two. I, I'd still like to check out some of those games at some point. Um, but yeah, thanks to everyone for watching. Um, stay tuned for more announcements there. I'm not sure how best you subscribe for changes or how best you subscribe for the notifications of events and software changes and other things for their site. There is a Woogles Discord. Um, I don't know if it's linked on the page or anything. It probably is. I'm just too dense to find it right now, but yeah, there's a chat room on the main page, so if you get stumped, just ask around. They'll help you out. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.